All right, so NCES made it very easy to apply for your PE license if you're in the following states of Indiana, Maine, Minnesota, New York, and Washington, right? You don't, you can do everything online through NCES. You don't have to go directly to the boards and fill out a bunch of paperwork and send it to them. So NCES will do the review and then send it to the boards for you. So first of all, you want to go to your My NCES account. And I would be very worried if you don't have an NCES account. I feel every engineer that, especially going for the license, should have an account. This is the holy grail of um, basically for engineers to get licensed. So first of all, you go to my NCES, you log in, then you go to the left right here, PEPS exam docs, you click it. This screen pops up and you're just going to click continue, right? So I'm from New York, so I'm going to do straight through New York. So this, you click continue. And then you're on this screen right here. Okay, so um, all these little rows are going to be white. Okay, when you first start doing this, that means they have not been started yet. The reason mine is green is I have already completed this uh, process. Uh, if, it's, if, you, if it's yellow, that means it's, they're going to need some review. And if it's red, that means uh, NC has found some issues that you have to fix. So first of all, it's very easy. You fill out your contact information. That's just your name. Um, your I guess your contact and all that stuff easy stuff I'm not gonna click it because that's my address uh, then personal information is you know your name your where you're born yada yada your citizenship done okay then um, you're gonna go to education information so, okay so education information so you have to they have to verify your education your undergraduate education and if you have a master's and you want that one year of experience taken off from your experience requirements, you have to get that verified. How do you get that verified? You have to send um, legit official transcripts from your school, okay? Now, we're not talking about transcripts that you send personally. Your school has to send it directly. So you have to contact your school, figure out how their transfer process is. A lot of times they'll mail it out, but a lot of schools offer e-transfers. Um, official e-transfers, that's what I did. It's the fastest method. So my undergraduate school, uh, NYU, New York University, I did an e-transfer to NCES. And my, where I got my master's, Ohio University, I also did an e-transfer to NCES. So the, um, the address you're going to send the e-transfer to, um, you're going to just Google NCES South Carolina because that is where their main headquarters is. And the address is right here. Right, the address is um, right here, 200 Verde Boulevard, Greenville, South Carolina, 2960. So your e-transfer will be sent to this address. And it takes about a day or two for them to get it and for them to approve it. And then you're going to get the verified status. Your education requirements is done and complete. Next is going to be the work experience. All right, so the, the work experience, you um, when you first click it, you're going to get different empty areas you can put all of the firms that you worked for after you graduated with your bachelor degree all right any experience before your undergraduate is complete is not going to count and you're going to put uh where you worked the employer a supervisor who is a PE that can vouch for you that's going to approve this experience and what dates you worked and then they're going to send an email to your supervisor uh, asking did he or she um, well, basically, are they approving that, or are they vouching for you the fact that you worked there and did what you did, right? And then you'll get the complete status or needs review or basically, uh, you know, uh, issues here and there. So here, they're going to ask you to describe your work experience and um, what you did, um, what projects you took part in, the length of the projects. Then they're going to ask you for general description of your tasks and duties and responsibilities, all that stuff you're going to fill out. And then I think NCS, their engineers are going to review that and give you um, a certain amount of approved years and months on you know what you write. So be careful how you write your experience. I'd say talk to a PE that works with you and they can help you write the experience. There's a lot of keywords that you don't want to miss. And there's a lot of stuff that you don't want to put. All right. The NCS Folks do not like certain words. We could talk that about. We could talk that. We could talk about that in another video. So I got three years and eight months approved by NCS, and I got one year approved for my master's. So basically, this is a completed status. So you're done with that. Personal references. All right. So you will have to contact a few engineers. You're gonna have to list a few engineers as personal references. Three of them have to be licensed engineers. The other two could be work-related uh, folks. This is more like an ethics, a moral check, just to see if you're, they're just going to um, 
just vouch for you that you're competent and morally capable of you know having a license and you're not crazy <laughs> so uh, make sure you get some folks that will vouch for you and say that you are a good person so I have my five engineers I picked all PEs the PEs that I worked with I worked with before the PEs that I know and they all accepted and vouched for me gave me the thumbs up so I got five approvals from PEs you only need three PEs though and two uh, I guess work references so that is complete then you're gonna go to questions. Um, this is just basic yes or no. You know, have you ever been convicted of a felony? Yada yada. What uh, what disciplines did you work in? Easy stuff. So then, last thing is the review, right? After all this is done, you're gonna click the review, and then the NCES engineers are going to review your application. They will get back to you and tell you, okay, take this out, include this, don't include that, yada yada. This is very very helpful. So this is like a filtering process done before you send this to your state boards. I think this is very helpful. The NCS engineers who reviewed my application were very helpful. They told me exactly uh, what to take out and what to put. So that is about it. Once you get approved for the review and you get the thumbs up, um, that's it. You're good to go. Then you just, um, you're going to go, there's going to be a bottom section here that says um, uh, finish and send to boards. So when you actually finish this, you have to actually pay a fee. This fee is $100 for New York. And what this fee does is that this is the NCES fee, and they are going to transfer this to the New York State boards. So NCES did the review. You paid the 100 bucks to NCES. Now the review, now New York State boards is going to um, do their review or whatever boards you're sending it to, right? Um, yada, yada. So this is just the email I got from the New York State board saying that my PE exam uh, application is not complete because NC, uh, the New York State boards has to do their review. So then what you have to do is that once NCES sends your files to the board, you have to go to the board and you still have to do one more application, right? For New York, you go to this website right here, um, op.nyse.gov. You could just Google um, uh, NYSED PE application and this is going to come up. You have to fill out this form. It's called Form 1 applicant application for licensure normally this form would have to be printed out and sent by mail but you can do everything online you're going to click this right here where it says license shirt and exams i picked endorsement because i did my pe exam in um uh north carolina right and i transferred the exam uh results over oh you know what i completely missed a step when you go over here <laughs> i forgot the exam verification step so when you go to exam verification, they're gonna you're just gonna request that um, NCES takes your past PE exam if you take it in another state to be transferred over to the boards that you're applying to now. So I did it in North Carolina and I got it transferred over and it's been verified. So that's very easy. I missed that step. Sorry. So where where, where were we? Um, yeah. So you click this and you just start. You go to begin application. It's very simple. It's very easy. You just fill out personal application. You fill out like basic questions, whether you're felony, convicted of a you know, murder, yada, yada. And you just review and sign and then the payment. So the payment for this is $377. So you have to pay NCS fee of $100. Then you have to pay a New York board state, uh, New York state board fee of $377. And this fee is going to vary between the boards. Every board has their own price. But pretty much after you do these two things, which is your NCES, um, your NCES documents, once you complete that and you complete the form one of licensure for New York boards, then you're pretty much done. And then you just wait. Normally, it takes about 16 weeks for them to review. And then they will decide whether you get your license or you're eligible to take the exam, yada, yada. So that's about it. It's a very easy process now, um, I think. I think they did uh, us justice by letting us do everything online it makes our lives a lot easier so i hope this video helped any questions just let me know kind of conservative engineer thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time you guys have a nice day